Next week, we are going to make a vegetable bed. What is the problem with having ground this hard to plant? Do you think the worms can get in here? No. Do you think the air can get in here? Do you think the water can get in here? So when it's too hard, that means the soil is compacted. That means it's very hard for the things that are in soil to live in this. This, this is very clay. So what clay means is very, very tiny little pieces of rock and stuff. And it's so tiny that the water and the air and the hohos and all the good, good insects and things can't get into it. So what we need to do is loosen it a bit. But we can't loosen it every time we want to plant because if, if the soil, do you think it's good if we dig the, the soil that's there, that we've already made here next door? Do you think that's good? Why is it not good? Because all those things that we've just said is in the soil, like the insects and the bacteria and the algae and the fungi and all those good things that live in the soil. Yeah, if we, we dig it, we're disturbing them now. We've, and ants, yes. So we don't want to disturb them. They all there making good soil. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this video is probably about two weeks later than it should be. I was well on my way of making the video and then um, and they went and switched off the sound <laughs> and I was lost to try and set up the whole creation of a new bed um, somewhere else wasn't going to work so then I was trying to figure out a way around how I how I make this video about making a new garden bed without making a new garden bed it, yeah, it, it, it just got complicated um, anyway so I thought I'd show you the bloop <laughs> <laughs> that little body went and switched off my sound and what happened after that was Tian and I, Tian my, being my eldest, we had a long conversation on the benefits of how we how we create a bed as opposed to traditionally just scoffling, um, what's it, what's scoffling in English? Um, um, were you no other word is budgeting <laughs> to budge open the soil um, where you turn the soil to loosen it up and then you just plant into that or just planting directly into the soil um, and what's the benefit of the, the way we're doing it um, and basically what we do is I, I don't actually plant into the soil directly um, I plant into compost but it's, it's a way of setting the whole process up. So the mulch and the compost layer all, are all the start of what would mimic something like a forest floor. Um, the best way to, to garden these things is to get it into a way that um, you get into this, the whole veggie patch becomes its own ecosystem. So there's, there's no open niches. And what I mean by a niche is um, there's no available gaps within the system, which will often be filled by either uh, weeds or parasites or pests or things like that. So if you fill up every niche within this bed, that there's no gap for a weed or something to come in. Um, that's, that's the theory. The practice is a little bit different. But the other big thing that we want to do um, in the way that I'm teaching the kids to garden is that we're constantly growing soil. We're not taking away soil. We're constantly growing the soil. So we're starting now um, with a thin layer of, of compost and that's what we're growing all of this and then over time I'm hoping that this layer will grow and we start creating a deeper and deeper soil and there's a bunch of ways that we do that. Um, what I didn't show in the video is the whole process. So we've got this really hard soil and what we do then is um, turn it, or, um, get it loose and then if, if I suspect that there would be weeds then I would put my compost or a manure layer down and then I'll put cardboard and that cardboard will suppress weeds coming through then then I'll put and I'll mulch on top straight onto the cardboard then on top of that you open it up and you'll create a little pocket and you put compost in that and that's what you'll grow in um, the, the mulch is really nice because it's once we water the water gets under there it stops the evaporation um, underneath so if we get some of this older stuff you can already see Oh, this is decomposing. So we already, the mulch eventually becomes my next soil layer. Open it up and put in, I think I've got some carrots in here and then this one we still need to plant. 
Um, and that's, that's basically the process. And if we get it right, and up until now we've had very little pests, I, I get grasshoppers in, um, and I think that's just, it's a lack of birds. Um, and that's because I don't have any brush layer. I'm thinking about planting some bushes, bushy type stuff around here, which will give some cover for the birds to come in and they won't feel so vulnerable and they'll be able to pick up my grasshoppers. Um, coffee might work. I might see if I can find some coffee bushes. So we, and this is what I'm saying about available niches. So the, the, there's a gap here in my niche that I don't have any small bushes here. I've got the mangoes in the distance, but they'll eventually become big trees. So I need to add another layer in here and that would be a small bush or bushes around here which will provide cover. I could also encourage some lizards and things to come around. So these pots and stuff probably work nicely for that, but some rocks, um, some stumps, that sort of thing that just offers cover for lizards or my predators. Um, and that's that's a gap in the ne in the system uh, that I need to fill. So and I'll, and I'll want to do it on my terms. Black ants are soft. They come on their own. Come on, our flower beds and how we go about I think one of the other videos we'll have to do is show you what we do with the tires we've done a really neat thing um, we've put in worm tires this one hasn't got it yet because I haven't found anything here but we put in worm towers so that's another video and I also want to show you how we compost um, that's an art form in itself anyway cheers <laughs> please subscribe and like and share and do your thing and hopefully I'll keep the kids away from switching off the camera mid-take. Okay, cheers. <clears throat>